The United States Border Patrol has exciting and rewarding career opportunities with the nation's largest law enforcement organization. Border Patrol agents enjoy great pay, outstanding federal benefits, and up to $20,000 in recruitment incentives. If you are looking for a way to serve something greater than yourself, consider the U.S. Border Patrol. Learn more online at cbp.gov slash careers slash USBP. That's cbp.gov slash careers slash USBP. I need new music. Discover new music now. JJO. Hey, what's up? This is Chris. Discover new motionless Hawaii on JJO. Time to discover new music. Our favorite thing to do, all the great new tracks out there, including from this fella and his band, Motionless and White, Chris Motionless. Chris, how are you, my friend? I'm fantastic. It's uh, the eve of us traveling out to Texas to go play a show soon, so I'm just excited to keep playing more shows and get back into the groove of things, so feeling Uh, good. Have you had to maybe find that routine that you used to have, getting back out there and shake out the cobwebs and, and get show ready, stage ready? We have been very fortunate we just a couple months ago we did a, a tour with ice nine kills and black Fell brides that was uh a very much like thrown into the fire kind of thing like <laughs> hey it's been a while do the biggest tour of our career uh you know <laughs> very like oh all right we're doing it um but yeah. it was great feels good uh i love it man well we're glad that things are uh back in full swing for motionless and white and obviously the main reason we're chatting is because uh of the new uh, uh, album coming out, uh, scoring the end of the world. I love the title of this. Uh, what, what what are we getting at here with scoring the end of the world? Is that a, uh, a viewpoint on, uh, today than the world we're living in? Tell us about that. First off, I got to get a sound clip of you saying the title. Cause it's so epic scoring <laughs> the end of the world. That was pretty epic. Um, uh, good. You use it. I did free and clear all you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yes. It is very much based around the last couple of years and what's gone on from both an observational standpoint of like the external reality that we all live in. And then as well, the other half of the record being much about the internal, like what goes on up here and in your mind and what it is, what the pandemics kind of made people realize and more specifically myself, of course. So it's, it's a kind of a snapshot in time for us where it describes our feelings about everything that's gone on. Yeah. The process of this album basically started in 2020. Yes. Uh, did you find it more difficult with putting the record together as you were building it with what was going on? Was there some positives to it that you noticed as well? Uh, interestingly enough, it was the most positive freeing experience of doing a record because we had that time and really knowing that, okay, wow, like we're going to be off tour for a really long time because live events are going to be the last thing that comes back. Let's start working on a record and use the time to our advantage. And although I'm not exactly stoked that we were off tour for as long as we were, it really aided in being like, well, you know, like we feel like we have a lot of great songs, but maybe we don't have one that fills a certain box that we want. Well, we have time, let's work on it. And that was such a great experience to like not feel under the gun of the deadline type stuff. It was great. Did you ever notice maybe getting inside your own head and overthinking things? Oh, I mean, that's a, that's just an everyday general <laughs> thing for me. <laughs> Hard uh, for okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, that would just be my daily wake up and go routine. <laughs> uh, I would say at times, yes, just because you know that you have the time, it could be distracting in a way where there's no pressure on you to get it done. You know, I try to wrangle that or I have our producers, you know, help me just make a decision because I have to. And that's nice to have on your side to help uh, pull you out of your own habits. Well, we're so excited to have the new record. Obviously, we've uh, been privy to uh, a couple of the songs right now, Masterpiece, which everyone's getting the full on effect and then Slaughterhouse, the next one that people will be looking for. Do you have a favorite track on the record? Is there one that really speaks to you? Sure. Uh, I think my favorite is a song called Werewolf. It's very much the most different song on the album. It's meant to kind of be an approach that we've, I don't know, sort of took seriously in a way where it was like, we we want to create an iconic song. We really want to create a song that feels like, you know, when you think of all these other artists, na- name an artist, you typically have a song that you associate with that band. 
And while I feel like we might have that with our fans, we don't have like, in my opinion, the iconic song. And uh, that song was meant to be that way. We spent a lot of time trial and erroring things. And I think it's a really cool way for us to take things that feel like what we've done in the past, but then also brought back some nostalgic stuff. It just, I don't know. It just feels really different and really unique and something that feels like if it goes over well, people will associate our band with that song. Oh man, that's a, that's a big swing it's, to take right there. It really is. Uh, we went all in on it, like put it all on black. Let's go. This is going to be the one that we really put all the chips down on. It's just, I don't know. We'll see. Hey, what's up? This is Chris. Discover new motionless Hawaii on JJO. Six albums in, you know, I'm sure you're finding new ways to challenge yourselves. Obviously, like you just said, with making these iconic songs or things that will really for motionless and white and in, in the rock world kind of stand that test of time is what you're aiming for. Exactly. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's cool that we've had a career where we've had cool, like songs go over well. And um, we had a song on our last record called Another Life that we feel like is our it's our song now that our fans. That's the, that's the motionless song. But there's not a thing about it that feels necessarily iconic. It, it feels like a motionless song to us, but it doesn't have like a thing, like a magic to it that says this sounds different and separated enough from other artists that gives it that that magic moment to it. And that's what we really wanted to do with werewolf. Uh, well, I am so excited. I got goosebumps just talking about it. It's a great <laughs> title and one of 13 there on the record. So this is a big record guys. So uh, mark it on your calendars or add it to your collection when you can scoring the end of the world. Is that good? Uh, I think that, it feels good. It feels that, nice. Clip it now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe I got a career in this uh, industry yet. If you have a second, I would like to do rapid fire with Chris from motion. Let's go. Let's go. It. These are the big questions, okay? We got the new music out of the way. Now we got to do the hard-hitting stuff. Okay, first one. Would you rather fly anywhere at five miles per hour or run anywhere at 100 miles an hour? I will do anything ever to avoid being on a flight, so I will run <laughs> at 100 miles an hour. A, a, a little scared of the uh, iron birds there? Do you just do you not fly as, as little as, can, as you can? Uh, I unfortunately have to a lot for what we do. We're about to go to Australia and, like, two, three weeks. So dude, if I, if I could run a hundred miles an hour, I would hope that I could run on water because I'm running to Australia running. Yeah. That's a long flight there, buddy boy. We'll be, we'll be thinking of you. Uh, Thanks. okay. Would, uh, you rather see Bigfoot or El Chupacabra? Probably Bigfoot just cause that's yeah. the first, I, I knew of Bigfoot since you're a kid, you know, that's a, that's a legend to hear a myth as a child. So I'd, I'd love to come face to face with the Bigfoot. I feel yeah. like he'd be a nice guy. He probably just likes keeping to himself. And that's all you just say, Hey, Bigfoot. And then go. I, I feel like I would want now I would want him to be like the, the character in like the beef jerky commercials, you know? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Messing with Squatch. Corn dog or chili dog? Corn dog. Uh, would you rather take one punch from Mike Tyson or a hundred punches from the where's the beef lady? Rest in peace. Uh, one punch from Mike Tyson. Oh, For that's sure. ballsy. That's yeah. ballsy, man. I'd, ra I'd rather say that I was punched by Mike Tyson, you know? Like, just true. Yeah. Straight. Full on right cold hook. Back. <laughs> Yeah. Right hook, right to the face. I'm ready to go. I mean, if you survive it, I'm not going to lie. That's that's the scary part for me <sighs> with, with Mike Tyson. Yeah. Man. One more. Would you rather fight a man with bare arms or a bear with man arms? That's a thinker. Wow. Um, but I like going with the ones that are abnormal. So I'll go with the bear with man arms. I, I feel like, uh, although I probably would get eaten alive from the bite, if they were able to get me, I still would rather say that I went down getting killed by a man, by a bear with man arms, you know, <laughs> here lies Chris motionless. He was killed by a bear with man arms. I killed think, by man bear pig. Man bear pig. I need to add that into the next one. Yeah. Uh, all good answers. All fantastic. Thank you for humoring me on that. Again, everyone, Motionless and White, the new record scoring the end of the world. Uh, Chris, thank you so much for it uh, for the time, man. I appreciate it. It was a pleasure. I I, I uh, look forward to the next chance that we get to do the Would You Rathers. <laughs> I, will, I will get some. I'll get some fresh ones for you. So I want some just the hard hitting questions. We got. Let's it. go. Let's go. Thank. 
Thank you. See ya. Discover new music now on the homepage of WJJO.com in the JJO app or wherever you get your podcasts.